Scottish, actually. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was um. I can't think. First Prime Minister was. Uh, wait, I know it. I know it. No, I know this. Um, I have no idea. I'll guess both Winston Churchill. Uh, is there a time limit? <laughs> But I can't remember his name. Was it Henry or George or Michael or? I have no idea. Uh, William Pitt the Younger or the Elder? I don't know. Actually, um, it was um. Ago. I, I reckon it was around the 1900s. Or 18th century. Mm. Started in 19th century. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. School education for every child. Free. Uh, compulsory secondary education. It introduced um, uh, the standard for children to achieve, now what was it called, the A, the, the a plus or something, no, the, the something plus. Education for all children. Free education for every child living in Scotland or the UK? Oh, Scotland, the UK, because it was for primary to high school. They have to achieve that standard in school. A plus, A plus, I can't remember. Um, education for all, for all children. I have no idea. I studied history at university and I can't answer them. <laughs> Bank of England. And the Houses of Parliament. Where are the buildings? I would guess either Westminster Abbey or the Houses of Parliament. Um, uh, Indigo Jones, St Paul's Cathedral, in London, and the Houses of Parliament. Those are my two guesses. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Parliament? And some cathedral, let's say. <laughs> I don't know. Russia. Mm, I guess Crimea. It wasn't Russia, but it was one of these um, Eastern Bloc countries, and I can't remember the name. Uh, Crimea. Ooh, what could it be? Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. Who did they fight against in the Crimean? The Crimeans. <laughs> Dorm. <laughs> the Battle of Hastings. Battle of Hastings. Uh, the Battle of Hastings. 1066 was the battle of either Culloden or the battle of Culloden or oh it was some battle I can't remember <laughs> somebody was fighting somebody I thought that was the battle of Hastings it was the battle of Hastings yeah but that was in was it a separation of Scotland and England no it wasn't that far back no that... <laughs> <laughs> the invasion of the Normans. I guess that's yeah. I think that.
that was Bonnie Prince Charlie and um uh, oh my god the guy from Braveheart the English guy uh Oh, yeah, yeah, oh right. Thanks, thanks for that. Yeah. The. Uh, I was going to say the Royalists. The, the Tudors? I don't know. I, I, forget. I forget which. I know there were a lot of different uh, competing factions and families, but I forget which one. You're right, these are tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea again, but I'll just say Tudors and Quakers. Who knows? <laughs> Um, the Catholics and the Royals. It's not a good point in the evening to ask me these things. What was the guy from Braveheart? I don't know. <laughs> it has to be Henry VIII. I should know this. <laughs> It was in 1633. Tower of London? Um, I think it was the same person that served the Royal Society. No, 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 actually. I have no idea. Um, pass. <laughs> Two British. I can't remember. That was Nelson and Nelson, Lord Nelson, something Nelson. Nelson and Bonaparte. It was French and English. King Henry, some the the first. Is that right? No. <laughs> yeah, Nelson, Lord Nelson. I don't remember his first name. Or maybe that is his first name. <laughs> Does this mean I have to leave the country? <laughs> Songs. No idea. They're, they're plays by... I don't say Shakespeare, but probably not. No idea. Poems, oh, what are they? Poems? No idea. Mm, Nordic? Nordic? Language? It has to be some northern... Uh, Netherlands language. It has to be something like that. Oh, some... Let's see. Is it Orse? Horse language. <laughs> uh, Celtic. It's supposed to be some form of Gaelic. Horse. Horse, not horse. <laughs> no idea. I have no idea. What do I need to know about these? I don't know, it's a doomsday book, and that's my idea. Yes. No idea. I've no idea. It's terrible. Don't know. The Middle Ages? I mean, that was like ages ago. I can't remember. The Middle Ages? First and Second World War. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I suppose the Crusades, does that count as a war? Civil War. Don't know. Oh, yeah. Wales, Scotland, and England. Because uh, that's Northern Ireland would be in Hibernia. Well, England, <clears throat> Scotland, England, Ireland, Northern Ireland, and Wales. 
Scotland, England, Ireland and Wales. Scotland, England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Wales, Ireland, Scotland and England. No idea. Living wage? I uh, can't remember. <laughs> uh, repeal of the corn laws, maybe, and increase of uh, voting rights. Probably all children had to be schooled, and the abolition of um, workhouses where everybody went to work. That was a long time ago. <laughs> must have stayed for a while. Um, probably, they made quite a mark in Britain actually, so it must be a good 250 years. I think it's completely irrelevant. I really don't know. I don't. I don't think it's fair. Totally unjustified. I think it's totally irrelevant. Well, as we saw a short time ago, David Cameron couldn't even answer a simple question about who wrote a particular song. I can't remember, it was either uh, who, God Save the Queen or something like that. And he couldn't answer that. And these are all on, a, on the, a similar vein to these questions. So how on earth are immigrants or anybody else going to remember? The, it's, it's a history test really, isn't it? So, is that going to make, make me a better um, British citizen? I think not. I, d I think there's there's some importance of knowing where a country came from, but yeah, things like names of architects that design certain buildings aren't necessarily important. So no, I don't think those the particular questions are very uh, very pertinent. No, I don't. And I studied history for four years at university, and I couldn't answer any of them. Absolutely not. I think they bear no importance or relevance whatsoever to someone moving to this country. No, I agree. I think it's just trivia. There will be some if they've got a history degree, yeah, I'm sure. I see them all wanting to run a mile. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it very much. Uh, well, I suppose anybody could pass the test, but it would um, it would require a little fair amount of study. Probably not, but like, you know, um, being guided to you know do revision on kind of questions that they might be asked, or, or having sort of prior knowledge. But no, I don't at all. Useful. Uh not for the purposes of what it's been designed for, no? Not at all. I think it's completely irrelevant and as I say it's trivia and it's like, why would you want to even know these things? Not at all. Absolutely not. <laughs> not at all. Is it fair that these questions should be asked of immigrants? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It has no bearing on anyone being a good citizen. None. I think it's a lot of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's actually a joke. So, are you British? Yes. Well, Scottish actually. You were scared, you can be. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 I'm British. It's like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>